character. We've talked about endurance before. Endurance, it is keeping on, hanging in there, not giving up. That is a product of suffering, knowing that suffering produces endurance. It's interesting. Many important spiritual things from our life flow from suffering. In that regard, the most important spiritual thing from our perspective is Jesus, our Lord and Savior, suffering. Through Christ's suffering, we received eternal life. For us to have close communion with our Creator, we must suffer also. And he said to all, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Now we're going to look at the first part of the next verse in Romans chapter 5 that we've been studying. Let's look. And endurance produces character. We all know what character means, or maybe we do not know. We recently read verse 4. In the context of this passage, Paul meant experiences that we go through that mold and shape our personalities, our strength our will, and so on. That character is specifically developed through our experiences. And Paul is talking about godly character here. It doesn't matter what adversities that we face either. It doesn't matter. You know, the best way that we can apply this lesson to our Christian life is to press on, press on to the goal, the same as endurance. What is the goal? Well, the goal is always to become more and more like Christ. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And we all, with unveiled face, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image, from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. What is God's character? His character is love. Anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. That verse, it sums up the point, our love for brothers and sisters in Christ. If our character develops, the point of our loving others, that's the right character. We know that this is true. Before Jesus went back home to heaven, what did he say? Let's look. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Our character leads to more love for God and other people. That's obviously godly character. Recently, my wife and I, we were praying, thanking God for suffering. Problems that we had went through. It's not that we enjoy the suffering, no. But the suffering, it's brought us closer to God. If there was no suffering, no problems, everything went just fine, 
A question, would we love God more? Would we love other people more? No. Our love would probably be the same. It would not increase. Coram Dio. To live Coram Dio is to live one's entire life in the presence of God, under the authority of God, to the glory of God.